Hi guys, um, I know that I had said that I was going to record my bathroom and the bedroom redone and they are done. I do have a fashion haul to do too, got some cute things, but I didn't feel like it was appropriate and considering all that's going on, I got into a real funk. I mean a real funk. I have a lot of black family and friends and I'm Native American myself and I found out that the cop who killed George also killed a Native American a few years back. Now I can say this with all sincerity, sincerity. get off my page if you don't agree with it. I'm not playing. Nobody, nobody deserves to die like they did. Nobody deserves to have to tell their kids to be afraid of cops. It's wrong. Okay? No discussion, no fight with me. It won't work. Nothing will work. So, now that that is said and that is done... Who has stayed is, hi, <laughs> I'm back. Um, I actually have a friend. What we're going to do today, mm, mm, today we are going to go through some of my jewelry. I've had a girlfriend a few years ago ask me about this because I basically started making jewelry so I'd stop buying jewelry. That didn't happen. So, um, a girlfriend of mine, very sweet woman, wanted to know, uh, she saw a necklace I had posted on Facebook and was like, I want that because I said I could, it's a resin heart. Hmm, what'd I do with it? It's a resin heart and it's going to have a silver chain attached to it. The length the person wants okay but she wanted it customized which is fine I can do that and then she's like I want to see the rest of what you've got available too oh boy <laughs> okay <laughs> I honestly did not realize I owned this much jewelry honestly I did not oh ignore my nails yeah I just trimmed my hair and for some reason when I did it all came out fuzzy so ignore it too um but I'm kind of glad she's coming to get some of this and the rest of it I will be reposting or uh, maybe a giveaway I don't know it's just I need to make room because I've got a, a supply cabinet full of of jewelry that are charms and that to make jewelry so um let's get started on what she's gonna choose from and what will be and then if you see something that you like we can maybe work from there I don't know guys I need help here I'm I think I'm seriously addicted to jewelry this I did make and no it's not going to be something that is going to be up for sale. This shell is from um, a woman who was very much a sweetheart. She was uh, my best, one of my best friend's grandmas. And then I added the seahorse and the coral bits and the little fish. And then of course the chain. Now on jewelry that I make for sell myself, I don't add a hook because I like my necklaces for the most part long, so I can just pull them over my head. But okay, so that was in my hand. That's why I did that. It kind of goes with the dress too. Oh, the dress is new. I know you can't see much of it, but you will because this is uh, in the fashion haul that I'll probably do tomorrow and it's from Target, so you'll see it tomorrow. Okay, so this here, 
I just had it on this because I didn't know what the person would want. So I just put it on this and knotted it so people could see. But it says, may the ro road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. It's an Irish um, blessing. So I thought that was really pretty. So I put that out for her to see if she wants that. Well, those are my glasses. Um, more boho look here. Now this I do kind of like on the soft suede. Thought that was kind of pretty. And so I got that. But I also made this version of it. Ah. <laughs> Come on. And I added the tassels. So I thought that I I really made this one for myself and with the stones in it and everything, but I just never wore it. I don't know why. That was this one too. I just had to have this leaf. Okay. Oh, there. Sorry. Just had to have this leaf. Absolutely think it is gorgeous. I mean, I was literally like, I got to get there and buy this because I want this so bad. And never wore it. But it looked really pretty against her skin. So we'll see if she takes that one. Uh, simple little heart on a adjustable collar. And let's see, for my more fancier ones, we've got Swarovski crystals with glass beads leading down to a ruby heart. That's a little more formal than what I want to be. Actually, I don't go anything anywhere that that's form that formal. I also have this one that's very formal. It's got. Mutual, bleh, multiple chains links up here and then this beautiful flower and to this long tassel with a row of tiny seed pearls this thing weighs a ton and I forget who the artist is who made this but I'm going to have to somehow rework this because this, this is just too heavy to wear. You can't wear it. Let's see what else have we got here. Oh, this is one of my early art deco pieces. I love the clasp on it. Little leaf. And you can see it better there. And then it goes down into an arrowhead with the beads. So this one was really fun and I really enjoyed it. But again, it was one I never bought or I never wore. So I may actually take this one up to the art gallery on the loop when it opens up again. And she was interested in my work a few years ago, but I got really sick. So I didn't get to take it up to her. So maybe now. Um, cute little everyday necklace. I just love this. And I have it currently on a black chain because I thought it looked best on there. I like that one. I don't know if I want to get that one up or not. Mm, that one's hard. <laughs> I, oh, this is one that I bought. How are they getting tangled? And it's three keys, skeleton keys. Me and the friend that her grandmother, the necklace is from, we each had this. It was ironic. Okay. Uh, this is a necklace I made. I saw it on uh, the Wish app and knew I could do it better and not look as cheap as it did on the wish app but 
It's got two bats holding the heart and the resin heart I made. And then this is how the, they're kept on. But yeah, that one was made by me, but inspired from one on wish. I will admit that. And I just love it. I just think it is so cool. And it's got the little, where the two bad, yeah. Okay, so enough about that one. Oh, wait a minute, you guys, hold on. Hold on, sorry about this. There we go, okay. Um. The other bat necklace has gotten tangled with it. Well, I'll have to have Brian untangle it, but I'll show you the other bat necklace I got. Now, this one is from Wish. And I haven't worn it yet, so I don't know. I really like it. I like the colors, and I like how the light hits it. So, she likes bats, too, so we'll have to see... I may be ordering that one again off of Wish. Uh, this one. I kept seeing this leaf at the store. And I was like, I like that. But I, it doesn't, I'll be honest with you. It likes to do this. So that it's all hanging down like that. And on it is a butterfly and then just a little scroll work. So I think it's pretty. I liked making it. It was fun. But I've never found who it belongs to yet. So we'll see on that one too. Um, a little open belly owl. I don't know what... It would actually look really cute as a choker, so that's why I haven't put it on anything yet. Let's see, we got this one of the skeleton key with little pearls in it. And it's antique looking with an antique looking chain. And I just thought that was so pretty. And there's even a little key. You can't really... There it is. I like it. But I got I to gotta call... I got to call, you know, quit on some ends. Okay, so then this one is very boho with the key. And then the round little rustic. Why is it doing that? Oh, does that help? Maybe. We'll see. All right. We have this fairy tale one with the moon and the castle. And what I like about this one is I like how the chain pulls. And then this would hang down your back. I just like that. And even, you know what? I may take that off and just wear this and have this hang down the front. Okay, this one's not for sale. Mm -mm. Or the, the, the fairy tale castle is. The chain is not. All right. <laughs> one of my first attempts at resin. It's got little jellyfish in it. And this piece. Now I don't remember why I bought this piece. I think I was wearing a black shirt and I just needed something to break up the blackness because it was in an all black outfit so I bought this. But I've never wore it again so We'll see. 
fun little glow in the dark heart our flower in there just a little leaf in between I just thought it was sweet and it's on a pink toned chain I know it doesn't really show but it is pink toned this is a diffuser necklace or pendant uh, you put little lava balls in them for anyone doesn't know and then you put essential oils on and it is supposed to help calm you there's pretty little crystals on the side it just um, oh and there's a flower on the bottom yeah the aromatherapies unfortunately give me severe headaches I can't take them this was an earring that was just way too heavy so it's the phases of the moon and I thought that was so cute it's quite heavy and I was like I'm not ripping my ears out for that Oh, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> I'll probably take this apart to uh, use in something for the coffin, resin coffins at Halloween. Okay, what's this? That's just a chain. Oh, uh, I love this. It's so pretty. And I think this would look really pretty against her skin. There we go. It's just, oh, flip. Don't flip. This is a pretty little moon. I like it. I wanted to hang a star from the bottom of it, and I can't. So, but that's just a little one another one that I bought and wore once because I didn't realize it when I bought it that it was silver and gold together and I don't wear silver and gold together I'm kind of a one color I'm, I'm now just starting to get back into gold jewelry and it's multi-layered I'm just now starting to get back into gold jewelry a little bit, and it's still, I used to wear nothing but gold jewelry. Nah, didn't like it for a while. Okay, this one is from Torrid. It's got the pretty little charms. You got the magenta, green, uh, sparkly green, blue turquoise I guess and then another green and it's an okay necklace I actually bought it because I was trying to use a coupon that you had to spend so much to get something I forget what it was and I don't know I just kind of think it's believe it or not I just boring this I have, I just love the look and I love the rusticness of this one. But for some reason, I, I never wear it. So, and then this. I absolutely love and it will be staying on this cord but it'll be finished to how whoever gets this wants it because the cord goes so perfectly and it knotted in there so just you couldn't do that with beads it's just too too perfect of a match so I do like the boho look these are quite heavy the hearts quite heavy it is turquoise so it's a nice piece and 
if I wore more turquoise, I, I would do that. Okay, since this video is almost 20 minutes long, what I'll do is then now I'll go ahead while I'm sitting here and film a part two of the ones I am keeping. And that way, if you, you know, you want to go do something else, you can. <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Okay. Um, please like and subscribe, share. I uh, love you guys. Thanks for understanding. And let's get this country back. Love you. Stay classy, but sassy, but never trashy.